a million BTC or what he coined as being called one Nakamoto. That's brilliant. Yes, dude, that, that guy, Michael, you get us. <laughs> But um, you know who? You know what our our buddy said uh, this week, uh, Sailor. What did he say? Miguel now? Miguel Marinero. Wey. Miguel Marinero. <laughs> <laughs> he he came up with this kind of really interesting thought. Um, he says that the ETFs are now totaling a million BTC, or what he coined as being called one Nakamoto. <laughs> like, like satoshi nakamoto i was like that's brilliant yes, dude that, that guy michael you get us <laughs> he grocks us he grocks us, us. <laughs> <laughs> he he taps into our souls and he like pickles them <laughs> <laughs> tickling you man <laughs> oh man that's like uh i'm even getting chills right? <laughs> yes you too? I, I think oh man <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, he. I think that he's in, into something. Uh, uh, we discussed in the in one of the pods that uh, rich people they have the concept of a yard, the yardstick. Mm -hmm. So I think that now it's going to become like, hey, you have one Nakamoto. <laughs> yeah. You got a Nakamoto. And, okay, and so for those of y'all that aren't into the the inside joke here, the Nakamoto it just represents one million Bitcoin, which uh, that's what people. Um, um, basically attribute Satoshi Nakamoto's address to having a million Bitcoin. So that's why they called it a Nakamoto's worth is because it's one Nakamoto or a million Bitcoin. So that's how he came up with the, with the term or the concept. So it's pretty cool. Um, hey, a Nakamoto, that's that's not bad. That's probably what he's aiming for, huh? I mean, I don't, I don't think that he might be able now to get to that point. It, it's be way too hard. It, it, it's, uh, it's, it's one million Bitcoins. No, 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 because sometimes you are hearing uh, one million, the price of only one Bitcoin. No, no, no. no. He, is, uh, he is literally, I think that maybe Nakamoto might become the wealthiest man or person or group, right? Or woman, right? Who knows? Uh, mm -hmm. To to be because they, they, I think that that address has uh, uh, 1 million Bitcoins. They, they haven't moved them. I really think that the guy is dead. I, uh, my, my thinking is that it was Finney, right? So, and, mm. and he's dead. So, <laughs> so basically, yeah. um, yes. Yeah, uh, I think so. And maybe that's why the reason why it's 21 million, you know, I don't know. It's just because you subtract the 1 million, then you get 20 million available Bitcoin. And that's kind of an easy math number. Who knows? <laughs> hard, hard to tell, right? But I, yeah. I think that a uh, uh, great idea. That's another one, right? When uh, that another person that got ridiculized, right? It's like in the beginning, look. So there's no disregard terminology. <laughs> Terriology. <laughs> <laughs> Nakamotoology. <laughs> <laughs> so I prefer Bitcoin. It sounds better. I, I think that um, maybe the other topic here is. Um, uh, they are now that Michael Saylor created um, a path for treasuries on companies. Uh, now the little companies are and little is just in the stock market, right? Compared to other giants, sure. uh, they are trying to grab a portion of their treasury um, in to put it into Bitcoin, which makes perfect sense because if um, if you have this amount of cash. And the dollar is is basically diminishing, right? Fiat, and and you are losing ten twenty percent a year. Why would you just want it to be there? And and maybe you don't want to buy uh, real estate or any other asset that it would be hard to even liquidate. Then maybe it makes sense to to start buying uh, Bitcoin, which you can trans transfer among countries and all of that, right? Without a lot of uh, uh, friction. So we might start seeing more companies. And countries, right? Like, a, like we saw it with El Salvador, but let's say mm -hmm. Venezuela, Colombia, you know, like even in Mexico, right? Start backing up their currencies and their treasuries on as a company. That's what maybe it might make the influx for actually Bitcoin getting from 100K to a million, right? Another 10X. So we'll see. We'll see in the next few years. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think, you know, it, they, they say slowly, then suddenly. Um, cause again, the game theory, I practice, uh, you don't want to be last 
less there. So uh, people will slowly start going there. And like we mentioned in our last video, the um, the pension funds are starting to get in on it. Wisconsin kind of broke the seal there. So I think we're likely going to see a lot more of those uh, huge, and these are huge pension funds, right? Uh, where they have a ton of assets under management. Um, again, Wisconsin is like the number eight, I think, one in the U.S. And so there's uh, that's that's a significant one. Um, there's going to be a lot more to follow, and then all the businesses are going to follow Sailor's lead because Sailor uh, Sailor has point two Nakamoto or two hundred k, a little bit over two hundred thousand uh, bitcoins. You know, he's already doubled his money. You know, he's made thirty five billion so far, and and counting and growing, right? Yeah. So it's um it it it's shown to be a valid playbook for a lot of companies, and people are saying, okay, it can work. Let's see if we can do it too. Yeah, for sure. Um... I think that um, I'm thinking sometimes, right? What what happened on 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 the whole ecosystem? I think that if we get to a price where it's one uh, one million a Bitcoin, um, I really think that sometimes government might want to uh, still control the outflow on money. So, what I think that is like uh, that's the reason why I continue to keep saying yes, Coinbase is a company to trust. But the problem is if you leave your coins there, maybe in some point, I don't know when, but they might they might actually kind of uh limit you your your withdrawals. Um and maybe this will be based on a rule by the government to say, hey, no, no, no. Let's say that you have 10 bitcoins and it equivalent to uh 10, 10 millions. It's like imagine if somebody's like, hey, yeah, I want to cash out like now. <laughs> right? So it's like, hmm. They might, you might have to have limits, maybe only 30K, 50K a day, right? So uh, it's like it will take you even just, I don't know, several, several months to even just withdraw your money. So, but here is the issue that I see. The alternatives are very, very hard still, you know, like if you want to self-custody uh, with uh, devices like uh, Ledger, Trezor, you know, like they are hard, hardware wallets, or you want to print the things they, like you can print it on paper right, and put it on a safe deposit box. It's very hard. So I think that maybe we're going to start seeing that. And maybe we can cover it on the podcast how we, we will be able to to recommend some other people to, to kind of do it. Yeah, I know there's some services out there, but, you know, you're, you're opening yourself up to third-party risk there. Um, but for those of you that aren't too comfortable um, holding... Ten million dollars on like a piece of paper on a napkin written out. Um, <laughs> it might make sense. I don't know. A lot of people try to memorize it too. You can just memorize your, your old seed phrase, but you know, you get bumped in the head. <laughs> it's gone, right? It's like so. Yeah, it, it it is. It is a real problem that's that's kind of coming out. How do you really safeguard it in a way that you know you're not going to lose it all if if you don't have it on an exchange? And if you're paranoid, like I uh, have a couple of friends, I'm not going to name them. Uh, he has a portion of the of the scene memorized. His wife has a portion, and then he has a, a banker. So in that way, if they get kidnapped, that's what he says. Uh, it's like they cannot get it. Like, bro, you can torture me, but I I don't have it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you gotta. I mean, yeah, there's gotta be something uh, a way some. I don't know to to kind of safeguard it. So that's that's kind of a next big thing. If you're able to solve that problem. You know, you, there might be something there for you. That's probably a pretty good business. And to be in. They're, they're already the big banks. They already have loans like for securities. Um, if you already have a bunch of securities and you want to do like a securities type of a loan, they even having a very low interest rate, sometimes three five percent. I I hope that very soon they do that. Uh, smaller banks they do it, but I hope that maybe BlackRock, Fidelity, right, like a uh, Charles Schwab, they say, okay, you have those ten millions. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll lend you a couple millions if you want uh, your house or you want a, a Lambo or whatever it is, right? Like, uh, yeah. um, so that way you have that as well. So, but yeah, that's what's going on. The other item that is going on in this um, uh, topic is going on this week is the ETF uh, for Ethereum. Um, the SEC basically told the community that they have to uh, file um, the S. What was the form? S1, the S1 right? forms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if y'all remember, like, so 
again, the spot the spot Bitcoin ETFs came out in January, and I believe the S1 forms where they asked them to update it like maybe in December. So a lot of people are assuming that means we're like a month away or less than a month away from uh, an Ethereum spot Bitcoin or an Ethereum spot ETF to be released. Uh, so it's around the corner. So a lot of people are getting pretty hyped about it. Uh, so uh, we're that's what we're thinking. They SEC asked folks, hey, y'all update y'all's uh, applications. Um, something is coming. So uh, right around the corner. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I think that we have a good one. Um, anything else that you want to say? Uh, study up on teriology. You don't want to get left behind, <laughs> just like you don't want to get left behind in Bitcoin. Hey, if you liked our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. We really love to hear from you. If you haven't watched our viral Bitcoin all-time high meme remixes, check them out. We're over 10,000 views on them um, and almost 3,000 on the other. So come see it. That's all we got for today. Dale. Bye. Bye.